Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. If you guys wanna check out my Etsy shop or if you wanna see some of my merch designs, you can go ahead and check out the first links in the description box below. But in today's video, we are gonna be redoing my entire candle studio. I went to Ikea the other day and was able to get these two bookcases that are located behind me. However, everywhere else around me is a complete disaster and mess, so I'm just gonna go through and organize everything and show you the process. So this is what we are looking at right now. So I have my new wax melt um, little display pegboard um, out and put together. And then I got two of these bookcases and my boyfriend is incredible and we was able to put them together, move them right here for me. I got rid of that other rack that was right there, but of course I still need this one in order to keep all of my supplies in um, until I can clean off everything on the other side of the room. I have two more racks just like that, but they're holding a bunch of eBay clothes. So as soon as I can either condense those or get rid of some of those clothes, I will have all of this right here. Um, but I would love to be able to use this for something else, maybe a table or something just to get it out of the way. Um, but this is what we are going to be cleaning up, so it should be fun. is that I want to be able to put all of my fragrance oils inside of these bins. Um, so these are just paper bins. Everything is from Ikea. And so I thought that I would just have all of that supplies just tucked away just so it's not out and showing because I don't like the way that the hell looks. I wish all of these could be tucked away, but as of right now, uh, I'm excited to be able to change at least to this. So I'm just gonna go through and start filling these up with my fragrance oil. So instead of just putting every single one of my fragrance oils inside of these bins, I decided to go through and actually re-smell and figure out if I wanted to keep these one ounce samples. So all of these I'm actually gonna be getting rid of. I don't wanna just throw them away. So if any of you are interested, um, some of these are not all the way full. They would just be kind of just for like a smell test. These are from probably four different suppliers, I wanna say, three or four different suppliers. So if you guys are interested, I can make a, a custom Etsy listing if you guys wanna buy these, but you know, it would just be, I mean, some of them are pretty full. They're not bad, they're just not what I really want for my scent line. Um, so if you guys are interested in these, let me know in the comment section below. So again, with this one, I'm just gonna be putting it in here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put, my, put in my one ounce samples. I was so, so um, thrown off by trying to throw away some of them because I don't know about you guys, I hoard these things like crazy and then I never use them. I forget which ones I get, especially with Aztec. And Aztec's not even one of my favorites, but when they do those five for five, you know, those those really get you a lot of a lot of samples. This one I'm really, really interested to try. It's Aztec sweater weather. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Anything with pine in it, I just absolutely love. So I think I'll actually be able to fit all of my fragrance oils in just these two bins, I actually thought that I was gonna need to use all of these. So we are all set. Look at this. Both, all my fragrance oils right there. This is fantastic. Now we are moving on to all of my wicks and that is what I'm wanting to put in here. 
I'm hoping all of it will be able to fit into this one bin right here. Perfect. All of my wicks, I have my dyes, my dye chips for some of my wax melts. I have my wick stickers and I have these little fragrance oil test strips that I love to use now when I'm testing a mixture of new scents together. I have one going right now and I don't really know if I like it, so I'm gonna change it up. And I love that so much more than trying out the candle and realizing that I don't like it. Okay, so wicks are gonna go right there. Um, I still have these wicks. Actually, you know what? I was thinking I wanna put something completely different in here, but I'm actually going to, cause I have, if you guys have seen in my other videos, I got all of my sample test uh, wicks where you get the little uh, wick sampler pack. So I have all of these here, so I'll just put them right into here. And I also will put these in here and these are new. So these are um, going to be little sample, um, what are these called? These are called just like cotton draw, drawstring bags and I want to do sample tea lights. So I have my tea lights coming in the mail in the next probably a little over a week because Flaming Candle is taking a little bit longer now, but I have that coming in soon. So this is going to be the packaging for it and I'm really excited. Um, I would love to be able to have my little logo placed on here somehow because um, I don't know if the stickers will, will be able to fit on here. If you guys know how to transfer onto here, let me know in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to know how so we're gonna put that in there and again just putting that there and you know what I should probably put the lids under here okay good to go put the lids underneath the boxes so we have that all organized now we are going to do jars so I only have actually a few candles already made but I have uh, the rest of my empty black jars, and then I also have my empty black tins as well, so we're gonna put them on the shelf. excited with how everything came out even with this still being here it will be really lovely to get this out of this area put it to the other side of the living room and then get maybe a work table right here but I love the way this looks right now I love being able to have all of these on display all of my fragrance oils and wicks put away having those out I kind of I have this for a photo but I kind of like just putting that right there all the candles that I have for sale, and then my wax melts, my Dymo, my printer, and then I have my little um, filing cabinet, filing organizer for all of my labels, and then this is just all of the fragrance oils that I want to um, sell to one of you guys. So this is kind of just another overview of everything. This is my little candle studio and I'm so excited. Now that my candle studio is all set up, I thought it would be really fun to end this video with an unboxing. I had Vanessa from 1617 contact me and she wanted to send me some of her vessels to try out. So I had seen some people talk about this on the Facebook group, but I had never really looked in to all of her stuff before. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. This box is actually really big too. Probably because the vessels can be pretty large as well. All right. Oh my gosh. She gave me a lot. Did she give me everything that she has? I really appreciate it. She is so sweet. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. Oh my gosh. Ah, 
this is so exciting. <laughs> They're beautiful. Look at how gorgeous these are. I wanna see in comparison of the size. I'm like, how's the diameter? This is essentially, I think the same diameter as my jars. So I love this pearlescent white color. I absolutely love that one. Oh my gosh. These jars are beautiful. It's like a teal color and then we got oh my gosh this pink color is so cute how adorable I really like the I really like the teal color and then oh we got like a peachy oh this is like a I don't know like a peachy it almost kind of looks coral on camera I like having the shine on it <laughs> Oh, more colors. I didn't see, this was all connected over here. So they have a, ooh, this is like a seafoam green color. This is really pretty. I love all of these jars. All of these jars are gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is yellow. Love how freaking shiny these are. They're so pretty. I saw these jars on the website. Look how beautiful. It's like a little mermaid jar. It's so pretty. Now, this must be bigger. Yeah, that's bigger. Absolutely beautiful. These are all like ceramic, super beautiful. Actually, that one's ceramic. This is glass. Those first ones were glass. This is so much fun. As you guys know, I just love like these surprises. What is it gonna be? I didn't know how much she was gonna send me. This is a lot. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, I don't know if this is the lid. Is this the lid? There might be another lid for it, but gorgeous. So beautiful. I don't know if that's a lid. I think it is. Feels right. I'm just so used to the, um, oh my gosh, they're called something, but they're the jars that come up and they have like the little handle on them. Apothecary, I think that's the word. I'll probably be able to show you guys. Look at it, there's more in here at the bottom. All of these have their own little, little boxes. Look at how cute these boxes are. Ooh, is this a little apothecary jar? has some teal to it. Oh, has a gold lid. This is beautiful. Oh, lids. Okay, so lids in here. So I'm assuming in one of these, they're gonna need more lids. This is lids too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is what I saw that was beautiful. I forgot which one I saw that I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. So it's white and it's a hexagon. That is five sides, it's a pentagon. And gold in the middle. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. So, so, so beautiful. I wonder if there's lids for this one. Um, I'm sure there probably is, maybe. Um, I guess I'll keep searching, but I think this was the one that I told her, like, I think this is absolutely beautiful. More, oh, more lids, but, oh, you know what? I'm so, I'm so dumb. The lids go with the candle, so it wasn't just lids. It goes with the candle. Whoopsies, I have to pull those back out. Ooh, this is like a, strawberry color oh, gosh seriously these vessels are beautiful oh my goodness gracious not usually a big gold person but when it comes to candles or decor um, that kind of stuff I really really like it oh is this a little one 
This is a baby one. Look at how adorable. It's a baby. Compared to the bigger one, look at that one. Oh, that's so cute. And I was just talking about how I didn't have my jars. I mean, obviously, the look that I have in my in my shop is much different than these, but I mean, this one is kind of tempting. I love this so much. This is like Christmas for a candle maker, just seeing all these vessels. This is another pink one. So this one I thought was like a pink, but now I'm thinking it's more of like a orange. So you can see kind of the color difference between this one and this one. So you can see this one's a little bit more orange and this one's more pink. Oh yes. Oh, look at how pretty. This one's like a white mermaid one. This one was the pink one and this is the white one. Oh my gosh. And this one has kind of that gold rim to it as well. Ha, we got another color. So this one's like a greenish color, kind of that seafoam green. See there, and then got that gold rim to it as well. One more box right here. Okay, these are the last jars. I think I've seen people post this on the Facebook group before. So these are very, very similar to kind of these style tumblers. So let me show you the size difference. So these are the 13.5 ounce Cali jars and they have the wood lid to them. So we got two of this frosted black color. And then let's pull out some other colors. So we have this one right here. Um, this one is kind of, it kind of has a tinge of kind of like a yellowish color to it. So we have that one. Oh, one broke, but that's okay. It's totally fine, that happens. I'm sorry, Vanessa, um, but I love everything so much. And then we have this one. Oh, that one's pretty. I really like that color. Kind of hard to describe these colors when they're all frosted like that. So I would say out of two, four, six, eight, 20, 21, out of 21 jars, there's only one that broke. And it was a smaller one and kind of off to the side. But the glass stayed put, nobody got hurt except for the jar. So we're just gonna make sure none of the glass gets out. So we're gonna put that over there. And then I'm gonna line these up on the shelf. So these are all of the jars that she sent me. I can't believe still that she sent me so much, but this is what they look like over here. Still love this one so much. I would say it's kind of crazy because I'm not usually a huge fan of the apothecary type style vessels, but these ones are beautiful. I actually really love them and I love that they're not really huge. I just really like the way they look. I would definitely say these ones are my favorite, specifically this pearl white one and the pink one. Um, and then I love these jars as well. Although honestly, all of them are really beautiful and nothing like I would ever pick for myself um, when it comes to buying vessels, just because as we can see, I, I get everything in black. So having all of these colors is actually pretty fun. So I'm really excited to test these out. Real quick side note, it is the next day, it is Friday, and I am in the middle of editing this video to go up later on tonight. When I opened up my front door, and she sent me another package. So I was just gonna include some photos at the end of this, but once I realized what these were, I was like, there's no way, I, I have to show you guys. So this is the Copenhagen collection, which if you guys are not familiar, they are the concrete vessels. Oh my gosh, so excited. I, oh my gosh, look at how cute, crinkle cut, I can reuse this. Oh my God, this is, look at all this crinkle cut. Holy crap. Got these all open so it'll be easier to show you guys. Oh my gosh, don't break. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? This is seriously the coolest thing. 
how beautiful are these these are gray concrete like this is seriously so amazing the texture of these reminds me of what I used to make in school like that like I just like the pottery aspect I don't even know how to describe it but look at how gorgeous this white one is absolutely beautiful gosh how cool is this Beautiful navy blue, gorgeous. Wow, what an extra fun surprise that was. All right guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I absolutely love being able to have this new candle studio, have my white bookcases, and have it just look a little bit more professional and fun to be in, and just the display of everything is so much nicer than throwing everything on that metal rack. So I absolutely love being able to set things up and be able to organize this all with you guys. And a massive, massive thank you to Vanessa over at 1617. Um, she didn't pay me for this video um, I'm not sponsored by them she just is very very kind and wanted to reach out to be able to send me some of her vessels to try out she didn't ask me to do a review video or anything I just thought that I had the box sitting there I really wanted to open it and I was already filming so might as well show you guys what the vessels look like too because they're absolutely stunning um, I will leave a link to the um, shop down below to 1617 where if you guys are interested in checking out any of these vessels you are more than welcome to um, but anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Look at all this crinkle cut, babe. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go to Petco and buy a hamster for it. <laughs>